Hi people, welcome to my channel. We are going to see a watercolor work in this video. Follow this and you can try. Come on, let's start this video. Now we are going to draw snow mountain. I started scribbling. For a watercolor, we have to take a scribble properly. At the same time, that should be uh, visible only for uh, those who are, who are drawing that because we should not give more dark for that because the lines might be disturbed while applying the color. With ID Doodly, we have to uh, do the penciling where the object which should come Sometimes in the scribble will not be understandable for the viewers most of the scribble after finishing color only we can understand completely you have to complete scribble without any disturbance because scribble is very important for the watercolor accordance with one with that only we are going to touch the brush on that I started applying the color. I am using Gopal Blue for the sky. I am cutting the white by the brush. I am using the color, same gopal blue, I am spreading in the sky area, I am spreading the gopal blue in the sky area completely, the blue should not enter into the mountain or drawing. I am applying the shadow area of the mountain. I am using Persian blue, the color I am using the Persian blue mixed with little bit crimson. Again, I am telling the mixing color is Persian blue mixed with crimson, slight crimson. Then we get this kind of violet color. For the shadow, most of the watercolor has been dyed, has been done with the this kind of violet color, the shadow.
see if we do a dark lines if you have done a dark lines it would have been disturbed our work so that's why i said we have to do a very light scribbles very light drawing pencil drawing very light pencil drawing now it is very useful to apply the color the line will not be disturbed now i am applying the dark blue persian blue with the crimson i mix the dark only persian blue and crimson slight crimson mixed up with i am using for the dark area the stone area of the hill Generally, the snow mountain will be bluish. That's why I am using most of the blue color for this to get the actual effect of that. Hold by the trees. I'm applying the trees with the shadow effect. First we have to apply the light color then we have to apply the dark also trees effect some trees are in between so i am doing that the dark applying area or trees area or the stone visibling area
if you want dark we have to take water color as thick low water mixing and if you want light color we have to mix up with more water that is the stone area apply dark and we can use still more dark on that tree it's a foreground tree it is a it's a shadow effect shadow effect shadow of the effect of the trees the work almost completed now the snow mountain is completely visible then we can apply more extra dark on that dark color i am using same persian blue with light crimson only i mixed up with now we get the this dark color just the last dark color i am applying here for trees also i am applying the same dark if you use more water with the dark color it will come like a shadow color see the same color i mixed up with the water see the dark is a dark as gone only we can get this light color only okay yeah the work is completed now we are looking at the snow mountain i hope this video will be useful for who wants to try the watercolor thank you